do you really know what is science can we define it and most important can we understand it okay let's find out every event which occur around us some amaze us and some terrify us this include all living and non living things things we can see and things we can't from the smallest to the biggest from the point of your pen to the vastness of this universe almost everything can be explained by science okay but what exactly is science in simple language science is the knowledge or answer the knowledge or answer we get from the study of the nature when we ask question there are basically two type of science first is basic science also known as natural science and the second one is applied science although it has many parts which we will discuss in upcoming videos so basic science is the real thing which you study in your schools and universities it includes laws principles concepts and facts like newton's law of motion and applied science applied science is nothing but the application of these principles laws and concepts to innovate something to design something and in engineering purposes every new answer related to nature is found using an approach called scientific method scientific method has six steps the six steps are first ask a question second do background research third construct a hypothesis fourth test or experimentation fifth analyze your result and sixth communicate it let's understand it with an example first we will ask a question like is earth round or flat then after asking a question we will start a background research we will start searching about earth in books journals or we can ask people about it or can google it on the basis of our research and observations we will make a hypothesis hypothesis is an assumption or prediction of something let's say we have made a hypothesis that earth is round then we will perform an experiment to test our hypothesis as we know light travel in a straight line so we would be able to see more farther as we go higher if earth is round otherwise we will see same distance from each and every height no matter how higher or lower we are on earth let's say first we have observed from point a then we have observed from point b after observing or performing our test we have to analyze our results on analyzing our results we have found that our hypothesis is correct that is earth is round